the Native American Tourism and Improving Visitor Experience Act. Okay. Hey, do you want to know something ironic? Hawaii's colonization is hidden in plain sight. Aloha! Welcome to Disney's Aulani Resort! Here you can visit the most magical place on Earth while you're visiting the most magical place on Earth. Come on in. Let's do some sightseeing. So, here you see real estate. I see Ina. That which feeds, not titles and deeds. You see fancy shopping centers and mega resorts. I see sacred land and natural resources of sorts. You see spas and five-star luxury. I see hard work and menial drudgery. You see cultural tourism. I see cultural voyeurism. You see tourists. I see the tour de pan. You see cultural authenticity. I see smart publicity. You are fooled by the optical illusion but I detect the cultural prostitution. A wise man once said, quote, Taurus, Taurus are consumers, not anthropologists, unquote. They do it for the experience, not the enlightenment. If tourism is a business, then culture is a product. Not an end goal, but a means to an end. Hey, do you want to know something you don't want to know? Hawaii was and is colonized. We pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of Amnesia and to the republic for which it stands, multiple nations, under God, invisible, with liberty and justice for white people. But what if it were you? If it were your land that was stolen, your culture that was repackaged, branded, and mass-produced, would you fight for the repossession of your land? to grow your own food and run your own schools? Or would you forgive and forget? Take the profit and cut your losses. If you couldn't beat them, the colonizers, would you join them? What would you do? Thank you. <laughs>